Hi there, I'm Eitan and welcome to Wix Fixer. This series will be showing you how to integrate the PDF Generator API with your Wix website to create custom PDFs. So let's get started. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to introduce to you PDF Generator API. And it is a platform which lets you build uh, PDF templates and then populate them with data using their API. The great part about this generator is that they have a Wix integration. The downside is that it's a little outdated. So if you can see over here in their integration list, we have a Wix Velo integration. And if you click over here to go to integration uh, and tutorial, then you'll be shown this uh, tutorial which explains how to integrate this generator API with Wix. Obviously, you can use the generic API as well, but this will kind of cut through a lot of the red tape, especially the whole authentication part, which is one of the more complicated parts of this API and other APIs in general. Uh, the downside is, is that this tutorial is a little outdated. Uh, so for example, I tried to use the um, demonstration that they have here on the bottom. It didn't work for me. And as I was working through this tutorial, I encountered some things that just weren't up to date. But luckily I'm here and I will help you skip over all of the mistakes and challenges that I encountered. Uh, so before we even get started with the integration part, we need to create a template for our PDF. So in order to do that, you're going to want to create a free account to get started with uh, on this uh, PDF generator website. And you can just click here, create a free account. No need to give credit card information or anything like that. Just your email and maybe verify your email. After you create your account, you will uh, be taken to your account page. And here in account settings, you can see here you have your API credentials, which we're going to need uh, later on. And over here on the left, you also have templates. And that's what we're going to be doing now, creating our first template. So if you click over here on templates, you'll see that I don't have any templates yet. So I'm going to click here, new template. And I'm not going to upload, upload any data to the template yet. You will have a chance to upload data later on after you build your template. So I'm going to click here, no data. And now I'm being taken to the template editor. And once the template editor uh, loads, you'll see that I have here on the left different options of things that I can drag into my template. For example, text, uh, tables, containers, images. You can explore all of these options and possibly more that aren't displayed here. Uh, for my case, I'm just going to be building a super simple PDF. So I'm going to be dragging here a text. Uh, box and I'm going to double click it in order to edit it. And I'm just going to say uh, my first PDF. Okay, and I'm going to make this the title. So this is going to be nice, large. And I'm going to click apply. And it got a little cut off because this text box was too small. So I'm just going to drag it and make it larger. The next part is going to be the fields that I'm going to populate with data. And this is just a demonstration, so I'm only going to make two data fields, OK? One is going to be name, and the other one is just going to be some kind of content. So now that I've created these two uh, text fields, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell this template which data I want to be used to populate these two text boxes. And in order to do that, we have to insert data. And you click over here, insert, and then data. And we're given several options. We can either upload a file, URL, or paste from clipboard. But all three of these need to be in JSON data structure. And I will link below to some information about JSON uh, data structure. Uh, but basically, it is structured very similar to a JavaScript object. Uh, and if I go over here to my JSON format, formatter and validator, I can create the JSON object for my data. And I am going to be creating two data fields. One is going to be name, 
and the other one is going to be content. And again, now all we need to do is just put some default data here that will show in the template. But when we actually do our integration with Wix, we will be populating this with data from our website. Okay, so for name, I'm just going to say uh, Harry Potter. And for content, I'm going to say I am a wizard. Okay, so this is the default data that I'm going to have in my uh, template. And I'm just going to click here, process. And expecting comma, colon, or something. Okay, so I was missing a comma over here. Okay, and it's, it's a good idea to validate this JSON just before you upload it to the template because the template doesn't have such a great validation process. It doesn't tell you what the errors are. It'll just tell you you have an error, and that can be a little frustrating. So I recommend making sure that your JSON is all formatted correctly and it's valid. Great. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to copy my JSON over to my template, and I'm just going to paste it right over here, and I'm going to click Upload. And then you can see here that my data was successfully updated. And now what I needed to do is to tell each field which piece of data it should be linked to. So I'm going to click over here on the right, Insert Data Field. And I'm going to select Name for the top one, Insert Data Field. And you see it's populated with my default data. And I'm going to insert my content in the second one. OK. and. It's useful to use default data that's you, you think will be of approximately the same size and structure of your actual data so that you can kind of edit your PDF and style it. So let's say Harry Potter, I want this to be bold, okay? Um, and I'm a wizard, I want this to be more over here to the center, okay? So that is how you build up your template and how you tell it which data fields you will be using to populate the template. In the next video, I'll be showing you how to actually build the integration with Wix. So I hope that you stick along. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe so you see the notification about the next video in this series. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.